Hi, welcome to introduction to Sencha Touch 2.0. Let's quickly discuss what Sencha Touch is all about. So what exactly is Sencha Touch? Sencha Touch is a very simple yet a very powerful JavaScript library. So it's used to develop mobile web applications, not the native applications. Native applications are those that are developed using the core mobile API like your Android API or iPhone API and installed in your mobile devices. But these are applications that are executed using the mobile web browsers. And Sencha Touch is a library that helps you do that. What is the latest version of Sencha Touch? It's 2.0. And you can download Sencha from www.sencha.com, which is the official site for Sencha Touch. Why do you need a library like Sencha Touch? What is the need for working, for developing applications using Sencha? Developing mobile web applications is altogether a different ball game. So you need to have an application that can work with a variety of devices. So my application should work fine with iPad, Android, Blackberry, uh, uh, iPhones, a variety of devices. My application should have a uniform look and feel okay, on all these devices. The styling has to be very rich and my application should be able to respond to different events like uh, tap, tapping your phone, pinch for your zoom effects and your swipe events. So I don't want to be breaking my head to implement all those things when I develop my application targeting the mobile devices. I have to concentrate only on the core logic and let the framework take care of the rest. So that's exactly why you need a library like Sencha. So who executes your Sencha applications, the mobile browsers. Okay, so all the WebKit browsers can execute your Sencha applications without any issues. Okay, when I talk about WebKit, WebKit refers to uh, the default rendering engine present inside your uh, Chrome or Safari browsers. So all the Chrome and Safari browsers can execute your Sencha applications without any issues. And more about Internet Explorer and uh, Firefox, okay, still have a lot of issues uh, working with them. Okay, so uh, if you're going to be developing Sencha applications, you predominantly will be working using them or executing them using Chrome and Safari browsers. What are the devices that Sencha works fine? So the devices support almost all the uh, popular devices, popular smartphones, like your iPhones or Androids phones or even your Blackberry okay and your tablets like uh, your iPads okay all these devices work fine with Sencha applications. As a developer what do you need to know to work with Sencha? What are the skills? One of the primary things that uh, a developer who wants to work with Sencha applications, create mobile application needs to know is object-oriented JavaScript. So object-oriented JavaScript is going to be the uh, bread and butter of developing your Sencha applications. And a fair amount of uh, knowledge on HTML5 and CSS3 is fair enough. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, so one is JavaScript, very good knowledge in JavaScript and a decent amount of understanding of HTML5 and CSS3 are more than enough to get started working with Sencha applications. What are the other frameworks available that you can use to develop applications using um, for the mobile apart from say other than Sencha? So you have certain popular frameworks like your JQ Touch, you have uh, jQuery Mobile, then you have Dojo Mobile. So these are some of the popular frameworks, popular libraries available to develop mobile applications. But I would say Sencha is uh, far ahead from all these frameworks because these frameworks are still at its uh, uh, infancy. Okay, so Sencha has grown uh, to large to very powerful extent Okay, that it can support a variety of devices. Okay, You still have a lot of issues when we use these kind of frameworks. Some of them support certain devices, some of them don't work well with iPads and things like that. Okay, So these are some of the competing frameworks for developing mobile applications. So what are the uh, uh, general positive points of working with uh, Sencha Touch? I think one of the biggest advantages of working with Sencha is uh, the modularity. If you want to, it has very strong support for uh, uh, MBC architecture. 
So if you want to create a, a really maintainable code, okay, by writing JavaScript, Sencha provides excellent facility for that. It has very strong support for MVC architecture and the applications that you develop using Sencha are going to be a lot more maintainable, okay, and reusable. Another advantage I would always say about Sencha is it's a lot of fun working with Sencha. Okay, so you can you can really see your code evolving, okay, all your object-oriented concepts coming in place, getting it getting in use, and all those things. So it's really a lot of fun to work with uh, Sencha and you can create high quality applications using the Sencha library. And any uh, negative points. So the, the, the common problem associated with Sencha is performance. Okay, that is particularly the uh, loading time. It takes certain amount of uh, time to load a Sencha page, okay, Sencha application, because Sencha has a lot of uh, this JavaScript, heavy JavaScript libraries. So the initial loading of any Sencha application will have a slight impact, okay, so it's going to be a little bit slow. But uh, 2.0, okay, is a lot more better now, okay, it's a lot better performance has uh, been, uh, I mean, it has been really tuned, okay, and you can see a, a remarkable increase in your performance, okay, when you use Sencha 2.0. The another problem that I always see with Sencha is, uh, particularly for the developers, okay, who are beginning to work with Sencha, is the steep learning curve involved in picking up Sencha applications, okay, so picking up Sencha API. It takes a lot of effort and time to uh, understand the Sencha API because uh, it, it forces you to think in terms of object-oriented JavaScript. So someone comes to you and says, let's develop a mobile application. Let's have uh, some text boxes and buttons. And you're not going to be writing input type equal to text, uh, input type equal to button over here. With Sencha, you have to actually create a text box and a button by writing JavaScript code, which is a very different way very different approach from creating your uh, uh, in, in the traditional way of uh, creating UI components okay like text boxes and buttons so it takes some amount to uh, of time and a lot of effort to understand the structure of Sencha API and use it to create uh, uh, pages so that's one of the disadvantages with um, Sencha that I always have uh, noticed so what exactly do you need to do now okay to get started so download your Sencha 2.0 file okay 2.0 extract it I would prefer uh, extracting it to a web servers uh, root directories if you're going to use IIS uh, you can just extract it to inetpub www root or if you're going to use tomcat okay you can extract it to your web apps uh, folder okay so that you can uh, view the documentation without any hassles so once you're done with that okay we're all set to get started working with uh, a very simple hello world application in Sencha. So let's have fun.